right there. Antonio, Marquise, Big Richard, Trey, Peyton. Okay, all praise. Now listen, let's get Revelations 1 and 14. What we out here doing, we showing y'all that y'all the greatest people on the earth. No longer allow yourself to be called an African American. Because guess what? That's something that was made up by the same people that put us in slavery. Where that's at? Look, right here. You see this? Y'all heard of slavery before? And y'all young men, all praise to the most high. Who put us in slavery? Y'all know? Exactly, the white people. They say that this Black History Month, right? Y'all understand that the white people put us in slavery. We're going to show y'all at that in the Bible, and it's going to identify exactly who we are. That's how we know we Israelites from the tribe of Judah, all right? So I want all y'all to say it together. Your nationality, you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Can y'all say that? I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. I'll break us. So don't never let nobody call you an African American again. A nigga. A black man. You are an Israelite. That's right. I'm going to show you what the most famous man on earth, which would have been your great, 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 great grandfather, what he looked like according to the Bible. Let's read Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So it says, this is the revelation. Revelation is the root word, means to reveal. So this is the revealing, or the uncovering, or being made known so you can see. All right, pay attention. This is Christ being revealed, being made known unto you what he really looks like. Verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs. So his head and his hairs because Christ had hair on his head, beautiful woolly hair just like every single one of y'all. Touch that hair one more time. That's the greatest hair that's on the earth. Y'all understand that? Don't let nobody tell you, oh, that's nappy. Or that's kinky. Cut it off. That's beautiful hair that y'all have. That's right. Guess what? That hair that you got, it's black. Don't let nobody tell you or don't be influenced and let nobody tell you to blonde to make it red, to make it blue. It's beautiful how God made it. That's Black and woolly, okay? Don't do that. Don't blind your hair. Because who has blind hair on the hair? White people. So when you blind your hair, you know what it tells the people when they look at you? They say, oh, he's trying to be like a little white boy. Right. But you're not. Why would you try to be like a little white boy when you the greatest people that ever walked this earth? That's right. You understand? So keep your beautiful, woolly, black hair, all right? Read on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So they were white in color because guess what? When you grow, what happens to old men when they get old? What happens to their hair? You see the gray and white hair, exactly. So that's what happened to Christ. But it says white in color, his facial hair as well, because y'all don't have none right now, but when y'all get older, when you grow this facial hair, this is a sign of you becoming a man. Because as young boys right now, you have no hair on your face, right? So that is a sign of man's dignity. That is our custom. That's why you see all these brothers, any hair that they can grow, they have it on their face. A man is supposed to have hair on his face. You notice women, they don't have hair on their face here. So when we shave our face, what do they look like? They look like women now. He not supposed to look like that. So it says his head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow. White in color, but woolly in texture. Have you ever seen a Chinese boy with woolly hair? No? You ever seen a Chinese boy with woolly hair? What about an Arab boy with woolly hair? Arab. Like the Middle Eastern people. You ever seen a woolly hair? What about that man? Y'all ever been to that store right there? That's a, that's a, a so-called Arab. Uh, um, uh, he's an Arab. He got woolly hair like that. No other nation has really hair except for the people right like there, the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Indians. From the, they are Israelites. Remember, what's your nationality? What's your nationality? You remember? Israelite from what tribe? From the tribe of Judah. Remember that. Don't never let nobody tell you this. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. We don't. His head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow, and his eyes 
were as a flame of fire. So his eyes were as a flame of fire. That's why you said see them rare eyes. Remember I was talking to you earlier. You said he got rare eyes. That's because Christ drunk wine in moderation. But he drunk wine in moderation. So when he drunk wine, he was drunk wine. There's no red eyes on this image, is it? Because this is the image of the beast. This is the devil according to the Bible. We don't. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. And his feet. Now, Antonio, I can see your feet, right? Now, all of y'all, what color is Antonio's feet? Is it the same color as the rest of his skin? <laughs> exactly. So, Jesus Christ, when John seen his feet, because he seen them, he seen his feet, what does feet look like again? And his feet, uh -huh. like unto fine brass. Unto fine brass, like a tuber or a penny. What color is a penny? Brown. So, now, remember that. Brown, we know. And his feet, like unto fine brass, as if they burned. In a furnace, as if they burn in a furnace. If you took a penny or anything brown and throw it into a pit of fire, what's gonna happen? It's gonna get lighter or darker. So Christ was a very dark skin. So just know, y'all beautiful dark skin, don't let nobody make you feel ashamed of it. That's beautiful that you have. Christ, the most famous man on this earth had the same skin, had the same and look just like all of y'all. Y'all understand that? So now give me Psalms 119 and 9. So we understand that Christ is what? He's a black man. He is your ancestor. You, all four of y'all, all five of y'all, got his blood running through y'all veins. That's where y'all come from. That is y'all people. That's your people. Read that. Psalms chapter 119 and verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man his way. So that was a question. It says, wherewith all, uh, hey, pay attention, um, uh, 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 This is very important. You're not going to hear nothing that's important the rest of your life. This is how important it is. All right? So read that again. Wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way? So this is a question. It says, wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way? What that is asking is, how is a young man supposed to act? How is he supposed to dress? How is he supposed to conduct himself? How is he supposed to treat his parents? What is he supposed to do in school? That is what is the question is. We finna give you the answer. We don't. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. So it says, by taking heed according to thy word, meaning keeping God's commandments. Now I'm gonna teach y'all some of the simple commandments. Let's get Leviticus 11 and 7. Simple commandments. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7 Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7 And the swine And the swine, who knows what swine is? Any of y'all? The swine is pig, pork Any of y'all eat pork? Just get the venom, you eat pork? Okay, so now we're reading about pork Alright, and the swine Which is pork Though he divide the hoof And be cloven footed Yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. So you hear what God say? The swine, the pork, that is unclean to you. You know, you should not eat it. You're not supposed to eat it. Because you know what happens when we eat it? We get high blood pressure. Anybody in your family got high blood pressure? What about diabetes? Doubt, you ever seen anybody with a missing leg or a missing arm? That's what they eat pork. That's what they eat pork. The same black man that looked like you, your great, 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 great grandfather, he said, do not eat pork, okay? Or shrimp, or lobster, or crab. You can eat fish, but it has to have fields and skin. Okay? Let me give you another law. Get numbers 15 and 30. Because y'all are Israelites. Judah. So that's your real nationality. We don't. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. You guys from the tribe of Judah. And bid them that they make them fridges in the borders of their garment. So all these nice shirts that y'all got on. I like them. Guess what you're supposed to have on? 
fringes. You notice you see everybody up here with these things. They call fringes. So we're supposed to have fringes in our garments, we don't. So in the shirts, at the bottom of your shirt, we don't. Throughout the generation. Are we still here? Are we still here as a people? Just like we was here thousands of years ago, the same rule applies. This is God's rules, right? We don't. Speak unto the children of Israel and beat them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So you see this? You notice this is a ribbon of blue. It's real small. You can see it real good right here. You can see it on him as well. That's the border of blue. So you have the fringes with the border of blue. We don't. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So you might say to yourself, why are they worried? Because God told us that we're supposed to look upon it and remember God's commandments. Because God knew we were going to forget. So now, when you look upon your fridge, when your mom or your dad cooking that pork, that bacon, whatever that is, them pork chops, you're supposed to be able to look upon your fridge and say, I can't eat that. Why? Because God told you not to eat. Just like we was bringing out the Sabbath day today, which is Friday night sundown to Saturday night. Every Saturday is the Sabbath. You cannot cook on the Sabbath day. You cannot buy or sell on the Sabbath day. You understand? You're not supposed to be going to work on the Sabbath day. You're supposed to be coming together with other Israelites from one of the 12 tribes and keeping the commandments. And all of the 12 tribes to keep the commandments of God. You understand that? This is what we are here to do, to teach y'all that y'all are the greatest people on the earth. Do not strive to be a Michael Jordan or a LeBron James. We got too many of them. The black, the, the NBA is full of who? What kind of people? Black, but what about the NFL? Same thing, we got too many of them. Why we don't have a lot of doctors? When you go to doctors, how many times do you see a doctor that look like you? Look it out. You don't really see it at all, do you? Strive to be something that's going to build up your nation. Be a doctor. You know what I'm saying? Be something that's going to be good for us. An architect. Um, give me some other things. A lawyer. Be something like that. You know, challenge yourself. Now that you know you're the greatest people on the earth, challenge yourself. So study in school. Be obedient to your parents. But also know you got to learn and you got to do God's commitment. This is your book, okay? This is the most important book on the earth. I understand y'all got chores. That's one of your jobs, right? You understand? Y'all got many different things that's asking y'all, but the most important thing that's asking y'all is to keep God's commandments. You understand that? That's the most important thing. So do your chores. Be obedient to your parents. Be respectful to your elders. You understand? Keep your hair black and woolly. Don't change it, all right? That's what we are to teach y'all. Yeah, give me Deuteronomy 10 to Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel. And now Israel. And now all you young brothers, that's the greatest brothers on this earth from the tribe of Judah. Read on. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So just like your parents require you to do your chores, clean up your room, look after your other siblings, do your schoolwork. God got a job for you too, okay? This is y'all job, all right? Every single one of y'all. But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in all his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, and to, love him. And to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with uh, all thy heart and with bag. all thy soul, uh -huh. to keep the commandments of the Lord. Now I want every single one of y'all look at me. Read that part again. To keep the commandments of the Lord. So God wants you to keep his commandments, all right? Yes, bro. So I'm going to give you this website right here. You on the website. Remember that website, all right? Go to it. You can learn. And with that, we're going to say shalom to you, young brothers. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. 
IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.